All righty. Wait a minute. You know what? Uh, whoa. You know what I played uh, recently for the first time? Oh, what did you play? Uh, Banjo and Kazooie. It's you a know, good game. It's a really uh, good game. It, it, I was highly enjoying the earlier parts of it. You didn't like the later parts? It started to drag on and get a bit bullshit near the end. <laughs> I uh, I still haven't quite fully finished it. A 64 or 360? I've just been emulating it on a 64 emulator. Okay. Um. Yeah, but the game's pretty good. I like the whole... I mean, on the 360, you don't end up having to... Um, you don't lose all your notes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a big thing. I'm like, why the hell do they make the game like this? But, um, Wait, the big you thing have to collect the notes every time. I think there's no lag. But, I mean, if you're playing on the emulator, there's no lag anyway, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't really notice any lag. <laughs> I can tell. No noticeable, but like. Uh, CC here, Ruben, yeah. warming up. Not I was for like, Kai, but for my game of watch. He knows what's coming out. So, a little bit disrespectful to Kai. Sunday. But, yeah, yeah. I went, I went, um, all star random last time. Yeah. I hear, uh. It's a brand new hand Oh, extender! <laughs> Put him on his back. Finish him. Yeah, should we never finish that tournament? We got to like... Can you grab grounded opponents? I guess you can't. I feel like on knockdown? I don't think it's sand grab all, no. No, yeah, maybe that's just because they don't reach, you know? Hmm. Like, is it possible? No, I doubt it. Well, I doubt it. I don't think you can grab during yeah. knockdown. Yeah, probably not. No contest. Alright. Anyway. But yeah. Anyway, getting back to Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, not to the map. <laughs> have you um put the... Yep, you already have. Cool. Yeah. No, I quite liked to change it to Lucy's um, semis. Yeah, that's the one thing. I quite liked that, like at the end with the game board, I was like, "Wow, this is a really yeah, nice yeah, yeah. way to end the game." But then it just tricked me, and it actually wasn't the end of the game. Oh no, you had one more boss fight. Yeah, I haven't done that. Let part me yet. No, let me guess. You got to like the note door, or like the you were like, "Ah." Oh, I got all the notes, and then did. it's like, "Oh, now you need all the first couple of bosses." So I, I had been getting all. You don't need all the jiggies. Well, you need most of them. You only need enough. Well, I mean, yeah, you need most. Yeah. So like, I. I like up until like the first like for the first like eight levels, I did like a hundred notes and like all ten jiggies. Mm -hmm. But then like at that point, I was like, I just kind of want to get this game over with. Have you ever played Banjo Tooie? No, I'm, I, I'm not planning on playing that, that game. I hear it's the same game but bigger. That I is a game that does feel like a drag. Story. I do not want to do that. The problem with Banjo Tooie is that like there's a lot of stuff that you can't collect um, on first visit. So there's a lot of like it's all interconnected worlds. Um, and that just, well, that anyway, sucks. that's not, that's not important, what's important is this, these two people this playing. This warm up right now, the, are they the warming up? Oh. Are they warming up? Oh, oh yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool, more time to talk about Banjo Tui. Anyway, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff like where, say, oh, you can get 8 of the 10 Jiggies, or like say 6 of the 10 Jiggies, but um, 2 of them are going to require you to do something to get a different goal, and 2 of them are going to require power up, the power up that you don't get too late. Oh, and I don't like that. Like, I don't like the idea of like not knowing, being like in a world not knowing that like, oh, have I done everything I can right now? I don't think that is. I'm pretty sure from all I remember from Banjo Kazooie, there's nothing like that. Banjo Kazooie, I think had one thing you needed. I think you needed um, I think either Freeze, Easy Peak, or Gobby's Valley had one jiggy that you needed something from the other world. In. I don't. I'm think almost so. I oh, know. I think uh, maybe with the, like the wind, with the flight. You might get them from somewhere else. Did well, no, no, you get the flight from from the desert. You get sure. you get beak. I thought you got beak bomb. Oh. You get beak bomb from freezing. What's your beak favorite level? Bomb. My favorite level. It might actually just be like the first one, but that's kind of lame. Uh, favorite level? Ah, uh, in banjo. Banjo. I've only played banjo kazooie, and I would say. I would say. I want to say the ant hill because it was really nice, but on oh, Mumbo's mountain. Yeah, it's the first level. So I'm a big fan no. of Cliff Lockwood, the last level. Oh yeah, I, like the whole I haven't really seasons. like. That is pretty cool, but like by that point, I got to it. I was kind of, I just wanted to finish it. You, yeah. So like, I was like, and then I was, oh, I got actually got to do this. Did Rusty Bucket Bay make you? I did not like Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. I did not like either of Clanker's Cavern or Rusty Bucket Bay, to be honest. Yeah, all right. I, li I like Clanker's Cavern, but it was kind of cute. Bucket Bay, it was kind of cute, but I got stuck at several points, and I was like, well, what am I doing? Damn, being stuck in a video game—that's crazy. Anyway, that sucks, dude. crazy concept. Um. 
Um, yeah. These guys, these guys have played a lot of. Stuff. This is like one. Of the, this is a classic. This is probably the classic 2018-19 essay set. Wow. They kill each other a ton. Last Rough. time Ruben got a got the trio, I believe, but. Pies definitely got a different game plan this time around, talking to him. You know what's a better question? Is what's your favorite Banjo transformation? I, I've got an easy answer for that. Oh, yeah. It's the crocodile, he's so cute. The crocodile? Yeah. He's got a little backpack and he's crawling around, that's so cute. Freeze Easy Peak is... Yeah, is Freeze really. Easy Peak is pretty sick. It's... I'm trying to remember Easy. Oh, the music's it's the one with the polar bear and he races you when he's a jackass. I know the stage. I'm trying he to doesn't even music. help. He doesn't like look after his kids at all. I mean, it has the whole, you know, whoa hey. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Robin and Ultimate being on Sunday. Ultimate is in the same room as Melee. We both run him in the same. When, uh, when's Banjo coming to Smash? When is, I don't know. I has it announced like the exact um I release date? I don't think so. Anyway, Kai's up. Pretty much a whole stock, but it is Samus. Yeah. Samus can. <laughs> There's been a lot of um. It's been quite a. Oh, Ruben Tusum! I was about to say he just needs a Ruben Tusum to bring it back, and he's got it. How does Kai normally do versus Nangs? Um, they have long stretch. I think they, they generally have like stretches where one is beating the other. Or yeah. Like who won last time? Right now, I think it's. I'd say Ruben is definitely um, favored, not by a crazy amount, but. Ruben's well, he's down right now. This could be the upset of a century. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Um, I know who I'd rather play in the losers finals. <laughs> yeah. Against one of these people, you have a slightly better win win record. Yeah, like the. This is how, do, how do you feel? I know this is about this particular match, but how do you feel about Ruben playing Fal uh, Falcon against you? He's tried in the past. I don't think it works out very well. Um, if I'm playing Ruben in a set and he's going Falcon, I generally just feel like, yeah, he's giving up. Right, but maybe maybe that's what it will take. Maybe maybe it works out. Who knows? Maybe if he just with a few reads, a few, a few reads. reads? And you, you just lose a stock. But yeah, as I was saying before, there's actually been a surprising amount of sets where, like, it's last stock. Um, Ruben's at, like, about 100, 120. Kai's at, like, yeah. 20. And then he just gets down smashed into the legend and loses. He's about to dip his hand in the cookie jungle, cookie jar, and the cookie just crumbles away in his yeah. hands. And then the jar just breaks and, like, shatters across your, like, wrist and you get ah. cut. And, yep. And you've got no band-aids. you got no banjo-themed band-aids. It's like, who the hell booby-trapped this cookie jar? <laughs> what kind of monster? <laughs> And you look over and you see uh, you there, skulking away with a smirk in your face. Damn. Anyway, um... What kind of monster you are? He's really needs Sedge Guard, and he drops it. This is... Yeah, okay, we don't want curse him, bro. Maybe, maybe he doesn't need the Sedge Guard. Maybe he's gonna get a... Down that laser anyway. was actually kind of impactful, because it stopped him from charging the, uh, the charge shot long enough that he kept him in the corner. It's kind of nuts, because normally that laser doesn't actually do anything, but... Mm. Not really, but that time it's actually impactful. Oh, that that grab somehow works. Caught Kai like standing still for a split second. Yeah, this is this is so scary as Falco. Even though you're so far ahead, you just like don't get down smashed. I really loved that uh the smash turn <gasps> back there. Okay, he got out. Oh, that. Oh, that was such a good. Oh, sh that's done? it. That's. I think he's done now. What the chokes? Oh. Turns out it's not just me that does that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Ru Ruben shaking it off. Ruben just like, yeah. What was the third level? It was Clankus Cavern. Yeah, I don't know that yeah. one. Yeah. Then it's um, Bubble Gloop Swamp, then Freeze Easy Peak, I believe. And then there's Gobi's Ruben. Valley. Oh, it's one of the two. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can do it. And then Mad and Monster then Mansion, then Rusty Bucket Bay, then Click Lock. Yeah. Anyway, are we we'll missing one? Uh, four, um, five, six, seven. I feel like we are missing one, right? I feel like I would. I, th I feel like I oh, would treasure say trove, treasure trove. Is that the second one? That's the second one, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I would say the clock would if I wasn't like as bitter when I got to that That's point. <laughs> like, and also, like I got, game. I reached a point where like I couldn't, I can't, like I think it's like in winter, I can't figure out how to get to the bird because like there's Eel? like the, you have to jump across the things yeah, and yeah. there's those annoying. My one those. of my least favorite parts about Banjo Kazooie are those enemies that come out of the walls. I hate. Oh, those. I really <laughs> wish they just weren't in the game at all. Damn. Like they don't add anything to the game. They're just there to <laughs> slow you down and piss you off. Damn. It's like, I want to just go past this, but I have to yeah. wait for these assholes. To You've kept that in for a long time. It's good to see you. Know, you I, I, I have no out. one to talk about. No, no one to talk to. You're like, 
Yeah, Twitter, right? Play some Twitter. Oh, yeah. I hate these birds. I hate these these birds, and they're like I don't know, like lizard things. And these motherfucking birds and this motherfucking tree. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, those I, things, and there's like one other thing. There's like maybe two least favorite things about Banjo, but I can't remember what it is. Probably those things are like number one. I wish they weren't in the game. Oh, let's get it. Well, while we were talking about that, Ruben eked down himself out a nice lead. I think he took the socket 40%, but Kai is just slowly making a bit of... Gaining a bit of, um... Bit of work. Bit of work, but... Getting get some jiggies. Yeah, get it. Solving the puzzle. Solving the puzzle. Yeah, Samus is a puzzle. <laughs> Samus is actually a puzzle that I still have not solved. He's gonna... He's gotta go. He's gonna go to the treasure room and input the uh, or the sand castle and input uh, I don't know, like red bird red into bird, the yeah. into the ground and then to get extra firefox distance or fire bird. Yeah, Australia did that with NTSC. We were like, no, wait, they they went into the the go, into, go into the sand cove and treasure cove. Yep. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. Right. Well. Still quite even, still quite even. Moving back, Kai deciding that this is the stage to go. It's like really murky against Samus where to go, especially because um, you'd think FD would be a really strong pick, but I think historically Kai has, Bull Ribbon has done quite a bit better than Kai on FD. Why is FD a strong pick, do you think? Because I think, um, so when Samus, the like of platforms means that if Samus suffers at any point, then it's so much more of a commitment. And there's no mix-up between whether she lands on um, platform, whether she, um, just whether the, she lands on stage. The edge guard is just good for Falcon on stage. It is and it isn't, is it, right? I don't think, I think, honestly, I think the edge guard is probably better for um, Samus on that stage, right? Because how often does Samus, is, how often does Samus really go high while with the intention to go to... Oh, that was sick! Correct! Yeah, with the intention to, like, go to a platform. Whereas Falco and Fox has like mix-ups on Uppy, whether they go high and they can, you know, quickly land to a platform and... Oh, oh that. tased him! Nah. Send him a message on the way out. Hold that. Good, good missile fights. Oh, well. Spot, spot dodge. dodge, get hit. Yep, that's the beauty, Shine. You can put out, you can essentially like, extend the duration of your hitboxes. There's obviously a gap between the damage giant, but like, it's enough to cover. Just like, like that. Ruben was up 3-1. to one. Yeah, holy shit, yeah, guys, Rob is back, but... Oh! oh! Well, you know. Save. Yeah, Kai's trying to figure out how to get back to stage, like, get back to, um, center stage, and uh, it looked really uncomfortable just trying to navigate those platforms. Trying to get him around. Got a bit nervous there, I think. Oh, by Deluxe. Wait, is that? That's 2-0. Oh, we're going. Right. Favorite uh, banjo power-up. They play about the game one. Am I just really, am I just not paying attention? I they they played like two. Huh? Sure. No, I'm saying game one though. Did they go to Dreamland or? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think it was Battlefield. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, favorite banjo power-up. Mine's uh, the talent card. I think everybody's the talent drawn, right? Like, I feel like... <laughs> the best one. I feel like... Can you imagine the game without it? Oh, just... It's so slow. You wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Yeah, those hills? Like, you talk about favorite power-up, you just have to, like, exclude that. Except for that, because, like, right, everyone's Except gonna, for that? Except for the talent draw. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Maybe the flight... It's fun to fly around. Oh, it's actually... Maybe it isn't fun to fly around. I don't think... It's not very... I, I was, it's oh, okay. not very fun. It's necessary, but yeah. I wouldn't say it's fun. <laughs> Always. Uh, this. No, not that one. That's when you realize that the power ups in Banjo actually aren't that, yeah. that impactful. It's mostly just like it's the talent the ability, to, That's the it. ability to use items. Yeah, the ability to use items and like the uh, shooting eggs, which I almost never do. Unless so many have to. Banjo Chewy definitely has a lot more like cooler extensions of you know power. -up. Um, like the drill bill or whatever it is when you like. Isn't that like a regular move? No, it's bill? like an extension of that. Oh. You get to you like, like just, do you like bear, like dig through stuff? She like spins around and like acts like a drill and then just like the hitbox last stages. Do you, do you, do you use stuff. it to like go through rocks and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, you know, back to the match. 
Back to... Yeah, if you're going to take out Talon Trust, uh, it's, it's got to be... I mean, I guess it would have to be the flight, because it does allow you to do some cool stuff. It sure does. Although it is also infuriating in some parts where it, like... Oh, it's at least one or two times it was just pissing me off. I, yeah, I like the flight way more than the flight bomb. I hate that. Yeah, the big bomb sucks. That's so annoying. Anyway. Yeah, the flight lets you do something interesting at least. Why do you think they went? Why do you think Kai went to Dreamland Limb? Because he wants a long game, so he's got enough time to use his brain to outsmart his opponent. Well, ain't that just the truth? Isn't that just the truth against uh, Samus? The and he's big thinking with, with uh, Falco's bird-like feet, the Talon Trap will give him enough maneuverability to get around him. I don't know, I figured he went here because he wanted to like camp platforms, but he's not really camping platforms. So... Yeah, he's just trying to use his brain. Another case where being downed by quite a bit, generally... Punched him. Makes oh, that perhaps sucks! Yeah. How sad. It was bad if he had the... Actually, it could... Well, the transformation scans power-ups? No. Then it would be the, the Crocodile. The Crocodile. It's adorable. It's the cutest one. I'm glad you're a fan. Yeah. Alright, well... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Navigates that safely. Um, Sort of. I think there was definitely options that Samus could dump, but it's. I don't. I'm not sure if Samus was able to cover every single angle. No. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. baby. All right. I'm up. All right. Now we got losers finale. Muscat. Are we gonna hear Peach? 